What's going on guys, it's myself Profi and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be unboxing the deep cool CPU cooler which I've got from Amazon and I paid 35 UK pounds for it because it was on on offer so it's like a five pound discount that I got on it so basically uh 25 percent off so i thought i'd just treat myself to this thing and i've never ever come across with this thing that was so really really at a, an affordable price but the full price to this is 40 uk pounds and even feeling the weight of it it feels like it's decent quality so deep cool i've probably never heard of these guys before but i've thought i'd just um get this because i've been browsing on amazon because i needed to get a Another CPU cooler to put in my old rig, by the way, because I just want to get that um, up and running and use that as a backup rig in case this one that I'm recording off, that I live stream off, actually uh, goes wrong with it or packs up, whatever it is. So let's get into this one, guys. And the one in my AMD Ryzen 5 rig I'm using, a Noctua D14 CPU cooler. And uh, my old rig is an AMD FX8350, so I'm probably going to put this in my old rig and use this to call the FX8350. And I just can't believe people are still using it in this day and age, by the way. And it actually came out in 2012, and it's like almost a decade old now. But just have to, just have to say thank you so much for joining in, by the way, guys. So let's get... An into this thing but as you can see i've ripped off the amazon prime logo off already and it was just really tough to come off so uh, let's open this flap up shall we see if we can find any chickens in, in here like any chicken spawners by the way <laughs> yeah because every time i live stream minecraft uh, people are always spamming me chickens like in my world whatever it is yeah that's another thing that i miss out i do live stream now and again on the channel so minecraft Nintendo multiplayer games or any other games that I love playing with the community we just have so much fun so but getting back to this these are the mounting kits for whatever CPU cooler you're using so you got one for AM4 AM3 plus and you and for your Intel sockets as well guys got all the screws got all the bits with it and there's any, anything else that I'm missing out oh no, this is the quick installation guide. And then oh, this thing here is the actual cooler itself. Look at it, nice presented in um, in some polystyrene. Oh, like the noise of that. Oh my God. Okay, but even looking at this, you've got some nice fancy copper heatsink pipes here. And... Um, I, I tell you what, it feels like it's decent quality. And uh, basically you've got your your CPU pins, so four pins. So the the three power okay, what the hell? One's got three and the other one's got four. A little bit of a disappointment with this. So I just have to say this is gonna make quite a bit of noise because there's no automatic fan control on one of the fans, but the other one has actually have yeah, got it. So uh, warning, remove before installation. So you basically don't want to install this. Yeah, so even looking at this, nice mirror finish, nice mirror finish here. So basically I can use it to see, even looking, my, looking at my handsome face here, trying to hide behind the phone, my ugly face. So basically it's like a makeup mirror here. And I just like the design of it. <laughs> okay. And these are actually supposed to be lighting up. So we've got some LEDs, which is so cool. But even feeling this, this is quite light. I just love the design of it. Oh, not happy with this because this... Oh my goodness, this is... um This bends very easily. So kind of not happy with this. So no wonder why it was like just under around 40 UK pounds. We'll see how this thing goes, but a lot of people have said in the reviews that this thing is literally good. So we're going to try and set this up and do the installation. So I'll catch you all in a bizzle then. Peace.
Right, okay, so that's the deep cool CPU heatsink installed, fully ready to go now. So it was an absolute nightmare to get it in. And plus, the first time I put the mounting brackets on, I've got them the wrong way around. So I've had to take this thing off and put them the right way around this time. And then obviously install the old GPUs from MSI, which I've got. So these are the R7 370s that I've had since 2015. And I gotta say these absolutely still work and that's the thermal take 850 watts uh psu and the motherboard that we're using is a asus sabertooth 990 fx and i haven't even used this thing for quite a while so i did say i'll put the deep cool cpu in the old rig that i've got because i'm going to use this one as a backup but for now i'm going to uh, put it in storage for now anyway just in case I need it but because I'm living where I am I've got nowhere to put it until I get my own place so let's see if this will turn on so got the keyboard rigged up and the mouse rigged up as well so as you can see the LEDs are coming on and this is a Corsair K55 keyboard that I'm using and this is the one that I'm using on this rig by the way but apologies for me pointing the thing at the ring light so ready for this guys let's Hoping that the fuse doesn't even trip or anything. Right, okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, wow, okay. So now we just gotta see if a BIOS screen actually does post. So I got this connected to my 42. Ah, okay, it still works. Still works, I didn't really think it does. Right, so, okay. Let me just toggle this light off. So as you can see here, we got the, it's reading every single peripheral and components that are connected. So as you can see, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM and 990 FX, which I am using at the moment. So this is, this thing is just old. It's old and I still can't believe it still works now. But just like I said, I will put it in storage for now. And uh, okay. So it's reading the card reader, it's reading the, it's reading um, the hard drive, the disk, the optical drive and the um, one terabyte Toshiba hard drive as well. 
So uh, this one here must be the SSD that's reading. Okay, yeah, so it's reading everything fine. So, okay, so we're going to hit F1. Looking at this, this is absolutely, it looks absolutely good. I just like the blue effect on it. Right, okay, so that's what it is that we've got. All right, we absolutely have lift off right here, but I just have to plug this into my um, curb screen monitor because this wasn't picking up any signal properly, but I just have to sorry about the reflection because my room's a bit of a mess. So literally we've got a BIOS screen, it's reading everything. So let's just have a look. The thing still absolutely works and you can see it's actually um, overclocked by default, by the way. Okay, so, um, okay, let's go on to advanced mode. So, let's go. So, basically, this is ready to have Windows installed, by the way, guys. But I just have to say, thank you all so much for joining in. And I just wanted to say, I actually do recommend the deep cool CPU cooler. But even though I had a bit of ups and down with this thing i'm actually quite impressed with it so my only downside with it it was absolutely a bit of a headache to install by the way but as you can see it sounds absolutely fine not so much noise and it's pretty much quiet as well and i just like the blue fans that actually do come with it but you just can't even go wrong with paying such a reasonable price for it so if you want to know the specs of this old gaming rig that i've got but ideally, I wanted to put this in my AMD Ryzen 5 gaming PC, but I just wanted to put it in my old one because this was a cheap cooler, but the Noctua D14 was pretty much expensive. So I actually paid almost 80 UK pounds for it, by the way. But yeah, so I just have to say thank you so much for joining in, and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care of yourselves. Peace.